They are on. Um, look, birds with baggage. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me, Lavoie? Can you hear me? Hello, Lavoie. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're there, you're there, you're there. That's the better. Birds Will you stop wearing the same dress as me every week? Well, we haven't got the same neckline, have we? Well, so, no, I went, I was, I went I, respectable. I was, and I didn't. I was wearing this on the telly today. I was wearing this oh. on a place in the sun. Oh, were you? You yeah. got back quick. Yeah, I did. I did. Speedy, Speedy Gonzali from Kefalonia. Well, you've oh, gone I... more sort of place in the sun. I've gone more sort of like Angela Rippon in Rip Off Britain with a sensible <laughs> sort of blazer. <laughs> I love a bodo, a, a, bo, a, bo, a bodo. I love a bardo neckline. Oh, is that a Bardot neckline? I love a Bardot yeah. Yes, well, welcome to Birds of Baggage. If yes. You're here on, if you're here on yeah. Tuesday, welcome back. And if yes. you're here tonight, welcome. <laughs> so this is our twice weekly live on at 8 o'clock every Tuesday and Thursday, guaranteed to bring you lots of laughs, lots of fun, and hopefully shock you. And we said, didn't we, um, on Tuesday, dress up, glam up, Get yourself a cocktail and join yes. in. Yes, with the. Have party. you dressed up? Are you dressed up at home? Are you wearing your <laughs> glam rags? What are you thinking? I thought you were asking me if I'm dressed up. <laughs> How dare you? No, and if you've dressed up, we want to take you want to take a selfie on that sofa in all your finery and make sure you post it on the Birds with Baggage Instagram page. We want to see the glamour. Yes, we do. And we that, do. What are you drinking today? I was just going to say, you're still doing dry January, aren't you? What's the honestly, date? Oh, you're halfway through. I d honestly, I do not know how I'm still doing dry January after, after my day today. Why would anyone do dry January? Especially in these times. Why are well, you, you've been homeschooling. I have. Tell us homeschooling. <laughs> today, I've been teaching Rocco um, all about fractions and all about homophones. <laughs> Excuse me? All about what? <laughs> You've got to be political. Homo homophones. Not homophobes. No. <laughs> homophones. homophones. I thought you are? went from fractions to equality very quickly <laughs> there in homeschooling. <laughs> what kind of curriculum are you teaching your child? No, homophones. They are, they are um, types of words that sound the same, but they're spelt differently. So, you know, like here or here. Or... Oh, I should come to your house for homeschooling. I'm learning. <laughs> or it also sounds like just the homophones or homophobes. So it also sounds like no. it could be very, very no. different. I know. What is a home? I've never heard of a homophone. Well, that's what a homophone is. Oh dear. Should we? Move it's not on? a mobile. It's not a mobile for a gay person. <laughs> Uh, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Well, oh, I'm going to make you a cocktail. Look, I'm going to rotate to here, to the bar. Someone went right. to Waitrose. Look at my flower oh. in full bloom. Right, listen, I'm going to make you... Let me just put mine, this high. Mine are fake. Are yours fake? I thought they looked the same as last week. <laughs> right. Now, I'm going to make you a cocktail. And I, I am making these up. They are not from the internet, but been around the world and I've drank my way around the world and this is and I've made this today and it's actually really good so go with me I'm gonna make you an espresso coke martini oh espresso yes so Ooh. in here I've got ice ice in my cocktail shaker yep now again remember I'm making this up if you want to make this oh please try this um let me just put this up slightly I'm gonna give you single vodka so I'll be able to drink this You'll be drinking this. At the end of sugar. January. Tia Maria. Oh, it's sugary. Do you remember when you were like a child and your parents used to have booze in a cupboard and it went all sugary at the top because it had been in there for years? So you you completely made this up. You've, you've invented a made this up. Right. Birds baggage cocktail. A birds baggage cocktail. Vodka martini. This is espresso that's cold. Espresso coffee. And this is where it went a bit odd. Diet Coke. But go with me on this. Go with me on this. 
splash of Diet Coke. We could put this recipe up on the website, couldn't we? Well, I think I'll be wrestling. I mean, Nigella <laughs> needs to watch out. Right, shake. I do. Oh, oh, maybe you shouldn't put sparkling things in a cocktail shaker. That's making a funny noise. Oh, I can't get it undone. Hang on. Oh, God. Hang on. Hang on. Right, give Hang it a on. shake. Yeah. Do, do, do. Come on and where's do this, the conga. The you, for this? you can't do the conga. The conga's illegal. You could socially distance conga, please. Um, hang on. I can't get it off. There we go. Here we go. And are you ready? Yes. This on here. Oh. Espresso Coke Martini. Love is... that. And do you know what? I'm going to call this a Colombian martini because it's got coffee and Coke in it. So there we go. Colombian <laughs> martini <laughs> from Lavoie. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. I'm still doing dry January. Anyway, oh, I I'm having problems with my set, set this evening. Right. Right. Can I tell you how right. nice that is? Well, I'm going to have to leave it until, until the end, end of the month. Oh, you will. And if, you, <laughs> if you have all my cocktails in one at the end of the month, you'll be absolutely smashed. <laughs> on the floor. Right, so every, if you've just tuned in, this is Birds of Baggage. It's going to be on live every, it's my, my, my presenting seriousness near here. I'm yes, go, go, go. I'm going to hold so, the cards. <laughs> Like twice, Angela Rippon in the background. Twice a week, we are doing this live every Tuesday and Thursday <laughs> at eight o'clock. And Tuesday's show is a set way and Thursday's show is a set way. We've got basically different games, haven't we? Three games in Tuesday's show, three games in Exactly. In, uh, it's called show. structure. We're bringing structure to your <laughs> lives in lockdown. And, and um, if, if they did watch Tuesday's show, you've still got the, um, the What's in Your Box prize up for grabs, haven't they? Oh my gosh, yes. So not only are we doing funny game and chit-chat, and we want you just conveyor to... Belt. Conveyor oh, belt. Yes, conveyor belt. belt. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, I should have some music for this, shouldn't I? We're giving away prizes, everybody. <laughs> prizes every week. And Wait. on Tuesday, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, it's not working because my Bluetooth thing's gone off. Right, we are giving away this amazing hamper from Silent Pool Gin. All yes. you have to do is watch oh, Tuesday's episode and you'll have a question at the end of it about something that happened in that episode. <laughs> and all you need to do... <laughs> Sorry. All you need to do is not drink oh. the gin and pretend you're doing dry January because clearly... Laura isn't doing uh, dry January. She's absolutely <laughs> wasted. Um, so you can win. Oh, in, in that hamper is glasses. There's candles. There's a full bottle of cider. Well, there were glasses, but they're probably a bit smashed yeah. up now. But there's a tube of super glue, so you can put them all back together and call it a jigsaw. <laughs> so, yes. That's up for grabs. Watch it. Yes. On the Birds With Baggage Instagram page, there is <clears throat> last Tuesday's episode. Watch that. Answer the question and comment on that video and we can pick a winner at random on Tuesday. So you've got till Tuesday to do that. You and I can, we need to have a bottle actually, of gin. What? You please, please, please um, don't switch off. Stay tuned because you know what they're going to get to see um, a little bit later. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. My yeah. off your trolley challenge. Your trolley. The supermarkets are the only place where you can go out at the minute. So I dared Laura to do some. If you're watching on Tuesday... And uh, we're not going to say any more about that, but if you were watching on Tuesday, <laughs> don't go anywhere because she did it and we'll be playing it soon. Yes. <laughs> I haven't yes. seen it, I can't wait. Oh, hi, Sean from Gran Canaria. Oh, Gran Canaria. Oh, Patata Bravas. I love Patata Bravas there. With Mojo are gonna... Sauce. Are we going to play our first game? Mojo Sauce, Laura. Mojo Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo sauce is an exclusive sauce in Canary on Canarian potatoes. They put on potatoes. It's a bit like potato bravas, but a bit more like ketchup. It's a bit cheaper, but it's beautiful. Oh, okay. I'll have to try that next time I'm there. So... <laughs> Clearly sold that one to you. <laughs> Come on. Right. Um, Our okay. first this game. Sean's favourite sauce as well. Our first game. Have you got a sound effect for this one? Now, if you were watching last week, Laura was a bit backwards. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do now... The cards have been printed the right way around. They have. I'm not backwards today. Welcome to our first ever game of Junk in Your Trunk. Oh, it's not playing through here. Oh, for, right. The music thing has been cut. Oh, we did it I've again. decided I've got some... Uh, uh, Manuela, the music is terrible. <laughs> Come on. I loved it. Play it again. Play it again. Why is it not playing? 
Hang on, I'm gonna well, lift up to my back entire... in the center. Did you did you hear the news today, um, the well, about holidays, people booking? There's a splurge. People have been brave enough and good on you mm. to try and book a holiday. So the holiday uh, companies have seen a so this is the music. I'm gonna put my laptop to my ear. Oh yeah. <laughs> on holiday. <laughs> Tequila. With your mojo oh, sauce. There was the cow. There was the cow. There was the cow. With your mojo right. sauce. Right. <laughs> what is junk in your trunk? Well, darling. Tell me, Lavoie. Darling watchers. Me and Laura are obviously known for traveling. Laura for presenting TV program all around the world. And me for performing on cruise ships all over the world. So we always find that we're chatting about traveling. And have you tried this place? Have you been there? What do you pack? How do you do this? How do you do that? So we're going to give you... A little segment now on travel hacks. All things that we find when we travel, whether it's packing at the airport, on the plane, in hotels, little, little tips so that when you are thinking after lockdown, I'm going to go on holiday, you're going to be ahead. You are going to be the most organized packer, the best booker. <laughs> Careful how I said both of those. <laughs> organized packer, the best booker, and the <laughs> most well turned out traveler you can be. So don't think, why are we having a travel segment in lockdown? You need to get ahead of the game. You've got the time. Oh, so we, we are called birds with baggage for a reason, right? I know. We are. Birds with baggage. And we're going to show you what we put in our I've baggage. Got some bag I've got some baggage. Can I show you I've my I've heard first that hack? about you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Laura, you go first. Tell us your first travel um, hack. Go. So, okay. Look, I, I've got two children, two small children who... Um, Actually, I've got to say, Alex at the moment is being an absolute star because he's getting Rocco to bed asleep right now. Talia, um, she went to sleep quarter past seven. Um, just thought I'd chuck that in there for you. So anyway, I travel with um, my two and um, along the way, everyone always says to me, oh, how do you travel with children? I've traveled with them since they were three weeks old. So I've had to find oh things along gosh. the way. Yeah, like since they were three weeks old. I did one episode, I tell you. when I've got to tell you this before we... Um, before I show you what I'm going to show you. When Tali was three weeks old, I went back to work with her and I filmed an episode in Mallorca and um, a lovely couple, uh, Linda and Rodney Palliser, never forget them. Because oh, Linda Tali and was... Rodney, what a good Linda couple. And Rodney. They, were, they were so lovely, right? So Talia, three weeks old, as you can imagine, boobs, like they were, they gave you a run for your money, Lavoie. You could so, have fed a small third world country with those. So they, they were, you know, it, when you, you, you've just had a baby and your, your boobs are lactating. Oh, I know. So I, <laughs> so I was doing a house tour and I said to the director, I, I'm just, I just need to, to give you a heads up. We're in the lounge. It, in about 10 seconds, my left boob is going to start leaking milk. How and did you like, know? The time I mean, and the side. You can just tell. It's can like, you? You, oh, yeah. And so, and so, literally, um, my left boob, all of a sudden, I was wearing this green dress, just this big circular patch. So, if that show ever gets repeated, and, and A Place in Town obviously does get repeated a fair bit, you see me walking around doing the house like this. <laughs> this is the lounge. What do you think of the lounge? And it was, I mean, it, you shouldn't squeeze it because it might go like that. <laughs> And poor yeah, Rodney, will be poor Rodney, will be soaked. <laughs> Feel like a decorator's radio. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. Um, but I'll come back to, to my travel hack. So traveling with kids, finding products that have changed my life. And this, let's just say that we're not being sponsored by these products. This is genuinely yeah, a travel no hack ads. that I love. Okay. <laughs> just teeth like yours there. If you want to give us them, give us them. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is genius. It is a um, suitcase with a scooter on the back. And whenever, oh gosh, I've dropped my gin again. Not my gin. I'm not doing, I'm not drinking. Oh, gin. it's all coming out. <laughs> oh, that'll be front page. So, 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 <laughs> so um, that, that, that scooter comes suitcase. I can't tell you the amount of times that I get stopped when I'm traveling. It's genius because it means that you can travel um, all that you pack all the kids clothes in the in a suitcase and they travel around they scoot around the airports um, when you get there you've got a scooter so it's just honestly it's, it's the zinc flight scooters they're called if you have children and you travel and you're thinking about you know booking a holiday after this this is all over I guarantee they will change your life so I they're mean, not, I bet you they're not like one, a, don't you they're not like well I do after these Colombian martinis I'll be scooting <laughs> around here they're not like one of those trunky things you sit on they actually pull better, down like a scooter. Better. 
better. Oh. It, yeah, the scooter clips out the back. And I mean, I wish they did them for adults, to be honest, because they are, they are oh, amazing. Could you imagine? They but are also, amazing. that's a decent sized case. If you're traveling with kids and you want, you're running out of space in yours, you can always shove a little bit, you know, mummy's just going to put those in there. <laughs> but no, honestly, you've got to. I, I, I highly recommend them. So that's my, that's my first little travel hack. Well, mine is something I discovered when I was traveling right um, at sort of the beginning of all this pandemic. It was about mm. January to March. So before we'd gone into the first lockdown, I was traveling a lot over to America and back. And it was slowly in the news that this was happening. And I was aware, you know what it's like? You want to stay hydrated on a flight. You want to buy a bottle of water. You might buy one in security. After you get through security, you might get your bottle of water. Yeah. Then you might get a drink on the plane. And I was aware that I was going in all these shops. I was touching all these bottles. I was being handed bottles from the cabin crew. So I had this made. It's very subtle. Um, <laughs> oh, now, I love it. This is one of those um, hot and cold bottles. And my little tip for you is you've got to stay hydrated on a plane, especially for me being a singer. My, my worst fear is that I arrive in my destination and I'm like, oh, I can't do the show. So I pack this in my hand luggage empty, okay? Because you can't go through security, obviously, yeah. with water. Yeah. Once you're through children. Oh, is that a loophole? Ooh. Oh, I'm they do. Certain, certain, going airports on the cruise. Will let you, certain airports will let you travel through uh, with a bit of water if you've got children. Not not UK ones, but yeah, ones. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But then I discovered in all the in all mm. um, airports, there's water fountains everywhere. Everywhere there's water fountains, it's drinkable water. So I would refill this after security, right through to the brim. And then the best thing is, if you're flying long haul and you want a tea, or you know, they always give you that tiny cup like that, with like two mouthfuls of tea. If you give the cabin crew this and say, "Can you just put some hot water in it or make a tea in it?" They'll give you one, and you've got a full flask, flask. on your flight of tea. Yes. You're not you're not handling bottled water. You're not having to buy anything. So if you're a bit struggling for cash when you're travelling, or you don't want to go and shop and buy bottles of water, go in the supermarkets, touch things, travel with your own one of water those. bottle. Is Love the best it. Way. Yes, I'm and you can have a big cup of tea. I'm going to do a quick, uh, a quick reminder to everyone. If you've just tuned in, this is Birds of Baggage. We're live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock. Uh, stay yes. with us because we are going to be showing you the outcome of my Off Your Trolley Challenge that Lavoie sent me <laughs> on <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, yes. yes. I was just going to say, I sent, I sent Laura out to a local supermarket to do something that was so outside of her comfort zone. We're going to dare each other every week to do this. And the results have been filmed, <laughs> going to be shown after this. And we've still got something else called Banish the Boris Blues, which we're going to yes, be doing have, very, very soon. So have don't we, go anywhere. Have we got time for two more travel hacks? Yeah, we have. We have. Okay. Right. This is, this is another travel hack that um, a very good friend of mine told me about. She's a makeup artist and a, a TV presenter as well. Um, it's coconut oil. Coconut butter. It yeah. is one of the most important products to take with you on your travels because um, the amount of uses that um, coconut oil has is quite incredible. So you can use it as a face and body moisturiser. If you melt it and then you add a little bit of sugar to it, you can use it as an exfoliator. It's a makeup remover, so you're, you're going to need oh, to nice. remove all that makeup on your face. Uh, it's a lip balm. It's actually, you'd never, I, I didn't realise this, it's actually a, um, it's got SPF as well. Only four to six SPF. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, <laughs> going away and using it. Not me being a but, redhead, I'll be on fire with a four to six. <laughs> but if you were desperate, if you were stuck, actually, you know, you've got, got a little bit of sun protection there. It's also good for after, after sun lotion, if you spend too much time in the sun um, and uh, you're a little bit, bit red. If you've got an earache, Kids commonly get earaches when they're away. They what it works you... as as ear drops. Oh, so you sort of like warm soothe, it up. Soothe the ears, yeah. Oh wow! It's great for chapped skin. It's great for insect bites, um, and it's grateful for fungal infections. Oh, now we gosh, know you, you get a few of them on your travels. <laughs> <don't you, Lavoie? laughs> it's better than plain yogurt, girls. Oh my gosh! No, do you know what else you can do if you've got? <sighs> a favourite lipstick and you're running out of it, if you put that with a little bit of uh, coconut oil in the microwave and melt them together and put it in an old little Vaseline tin or something, it makes it into like a lip balm or like a, a, a yeah. more of a, 
and you can put it on your lips and keep people longer. Oh, good tree, you, coconut you oil. You can use it as a toothpaste as well. I've never Oh, now you're taking it too far now. <laughs> Who wants so to that's, my, that's my, my must-have travel product. But obviously, when you pack it, you've got to make sure that you pack it well because you don't really want it all over your clothes. No, Otherwise, you'd end up is... smelling of a pina colada, wouldn't you? Before <laughs> yeah. you... Or go <laughs> stinking a bounty. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, I had to go and buy some of these today because I'd run out and I could only buy supermarket-owned brands, but I think that's quite good, actually. Um, yeah. But my little last hack before we move on to <laughs> Laura's supermarket <laughs> challenge is I discovered when I was, you'll know this from doing uh, Place in the Sun, I know you've got to wear the same outfit a, a few times, haven't you, for continuity well, on I'm the television. I'm wearing the same outfit. I mean, wearing the same outfit well, exactly. today. I've only got one dress. And obviously I've got my costumes that I can't machine wash. And sometimes you're traveling and you've washed them at once. It's not dirty. You haven't got food on it or anything, but you just want to freshen it up. Yeah. If you buy yourself some um, tumble dryer sheet, you know, like the Lenore one is the comfort one. It's a sheet you put in the tumble dryer and you get your t-shirt or your dress and you rub that onto the armpits, it gets rid of BO and sweat <laughs> and smell. Really? Yes. It's like laundering wow, uh, them. And these are the best things. And they're so light to travel with. And also you can lay a dress on the bed. I've done this on a cruise ship and rub the whole dress with them. And they smell like they've just come out of the washing machine. And they are laundry sheets. Do you know the ones you put in the tumble dryer? I, 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 never, put that, I never put anything like no. that in the tumble dryer. Yeah. yeah, you can buy tumble dryer sheets. And they're basically wow. meant to, they're like fragrance. They're, they're dry, they're not wet. And you just rub, you put them in your tumble dryer as opposed to fragrance or uh, it's a bit like fabric conditioner and they also That's stop brilliant. static. Oh, I'm so, oh I'm my so God. And, they, and also they smell lovely. So if you shove them in your suitcase, it makes everything smell nice. Yes, yeah, but yeah, freshening, yeah, yeah. freshening up dresses, costumes, evening dresses that you don't want to get dry cleaned, that just, just rub that all over them and it's the best thing. Wow, I love it. That's an amazing hack. Thank you. Yeah, oh. pleasure. Ooh. Ooh. All right, wow. now you're... You talk while I get technically sorted because you're going to do something, aren't you now? I, well, I've got to get technically sorted as well because um, I've got to um, get my, my laptop prepared. Now, um, that's how we're going to show you what happened in my Off Your Trolley Challenge. Yes. Play it, play it through yeah, and because we're live, it's a little bit technically awkward to go sort of full screen. Here it is. But don't worry, we're going to show it to you now live mm. and then we'll post a video on the Birds with Baggage Instagram page so you can watch it full screen. And please, as a friend of Laura, <laughs> share the video, post the video <laughs> all across social media, please. Oh and remember, word. at Birds with Baggage, hashtag off your trolley, please. So, shall we just explain what you challenged me to do yes. with Off Your Trolley? That's the checkout. It's Off Your Trolley. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, right. Now, I said to, to Laura to go to her local supermarket, dress like the ultimate Hollywood star. I want sunglasses, a big hat. I want her to look super, super glamorous. I wanted her to walk around and then she's going up and down the aisle, say, hello, hello, hello to people. She had to at least once say, no pictures, please. No time for autographs. And when she got to the checkout, she had to say, do you know who I am? And, potentially give the uh, cashier an autograph if she didn't know who she was. So she did this yesterday. I did. I'll see you for doing it. And I did do it yesterday. Uh, she won't be getting her own back on me. So anyway, we're going to uh, be yeah, doing this once yeah. a week. But yeah, so next, next week it's your turn. But do you want to see what happened? Yes, we do. So here we go. Right, here comes the video. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, so, look! You look like... There I am. You look fabulous. Oh, my gosh. Right. All the makeup is going on. You look sensational. I've got my off the trolley challenge uh, today. I'm about to go and do my weekly shop and complete the three challenges that were 
Oh, look at her go! She's off! Waitrose. <laughs> of course it's Waitrose she went to. I don't do cues, darling. <laughs> Look at you. It's so cute. Oh, damn, there's no cue. Hang on, it's coming back. Gosh, guys, now I know that wasn't the best to see, so don't forget, oh. the minute we finish, that is going to be on the at Birds With Baggage Instagram page. Watch it properly and share it. You did it! I did it. Honestly. Was it honestly, awful? It, I just, I didn't, I didn't actually think I was going to be able to do the last bit of the challenge. I mean, I think people were just looking at me going, who, who is this weird walking around the same Why was security trying to stop you? Um, well, because we were, uh, I mean, uh, look, it was fine because I was filming. with Georgie, who is, is with me. She she works with me anyway all the time. And so she's in, in my bubble. She lives here. So um, she was, yeah, filming me on my phone. And there was just one person that was like, you can't do that. And so it was like, well, um, but actually, oh, we're going to have to watch say, this, aren't we? I've got to say afterwards, the manager um, was absolutely lovely. She was the one that said, I love your show. And I just said, I'm so sorry. I feel so, I feel so mortified that I've had to do this. She what went, I, oh yeah, so you've gone on the, <laughs> I'm on, I'm a, such a sweetheart on the TV. Please, please. <laughs> and what am I going to, I'm just going to be handcuffed and taken out. Oh, well, look, 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 no, no. Yeah, you, you, you're not going to know what you're doing. I'm not going to tell you until next Tuesday. You're just going to have to wait and be made. <laughs> do you know what you've planned? Have you planned something already? I might have. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. I love yeah, that you yeah. went to Waitrose. I love that you went to Waitrose. Well, I'm going to go to Marks and Spencer's Simple <laughs> Food. I did think we, we're obviously going to have to go to a different supermarket, aren't we, each time we do the challenge? Because Only if you're embarrassed if you, by if it, you Laura. Get, if you get no. Laura, <laughs> she is again. How often do you go out to the supermarket in all your makeup, Lavoie? Well, I normally to have people How do that do for shop? me. <laughs> well, you see. So well, you don't go to the supermarket? No! No, I normally would get things delivered. The lovely Amazon man arrives with a big package and I open the door and I think it's yep. lovely. Sometimes it's the only person I speak to. Well, last, in the last lockdown, hey, you talk see, to me. You talk to me. I talk to you. And the last one, I had a decorator in, in the, uh, doing all the, uh, doing the painting. And he was a furloughed he was pilot. He was a pilot. 
that was uh, furloughed. Ooh. Oh, we made a lovely job on my landing. I tell you, <laughs> oh, it was incredible. Oh, what that man did. Anyway, <laughs> well, we need to crack on. Right, well, we do need to crack on. Well done. And if you want to know what that was all about, you need to tune in on Tuesdays, where Laura will be setting me my off the trolley challenge, yeah, and I'll yeah. be doing that on Thursday. And we will, <laughs> upload, that. We will upload that video so you can see it um, clearly, um, because obviously we had a few signal problems there. I went very eighties today because this has got big shoulder pads. Yeah, I like that. I do. Oh, I, I feel like Hilary Devay. Oh, this is you're quite look, making this my is, footage. This is, this, is, this is sort of a bit. A bit puffy as well. Yeah, yeah. You can't say, can't right. say puffy. You can't say puffy. That's offensive. Right. Are we ready? Are we ready? What are we going to do? Play the music, do the sign. Banish the Boris Blues. I'm so proud of you. Oh, hang on. I need to explain this. Now, I rang Boris to tell him we were doing this. Did to you? say, what do you think about this? And this is how the phone call went. Listen. <laughs> No idea you were so smart and sophisticated, and your email. Well, that didn't quite end. Well, I don't worry about that. People will catch that later. So that was this is banish the Boris banish blues. Yes. So banish the Boris blues. It's all about. Um, look, we can't go. Can't go to our beauty. Go uh, to our places for our beauty treatments. Can, can we? At the moment. So it's all about. Oh. It's, all, it's all about DIY. DIY beauty treatments. So, so exciting. I I thought that, uh, and you can do this at home if you want to. Anyone wants to do this oh, at home, yes. they can. We 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 could put the we could put the um the details of this on our website as well, couldn't we? As well, yeah, as the we could. You've made. There, oh, there is. Can we just say that? Hang on, there is a birds with baggage website. Everybody, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're not doing this by half. And we must just say these are legitimate. Um, beauty recipes we found that you can mm. do at home but then like my cocktail was made up laura hasn't made this up and no. also we cannot take responsibility for any allergic reaction <laughs> <laughs> no oh god right okay so i asked you on your um supermarket shop Lavoir, to get some oats yes i've done this i have no idea what i'm doing um apple apple cider, apple cider well cider. i do i couldn't i couldn't get that so i've got a can of strong bow is that all right <laughs> Well, well, yeah, well, I suppose well, so. Well, give that, apple give that. All cider is apples, isn't it? <laughs> apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Strong, also no oh, strong. Oh, apple cider. Right. You can put the vinegar bit on the end. Did I not? And cider. Apple cider. Oh, well. So I've do. got a can of Strongbow. Oh, well, Strong hang on. Let sugar. Me hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If you need vinegar, where's them? Oh, here we go. Look, I can put a bit of this in. I'll put a bit of this in it. <laughs> Okay. Right. There we go. <laughs> right. Bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Am I meant to be doing this in a bowl or something? No. 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 Some lemon oh. juice. You will. You will need a bowl. So we're going to do yes. this together. So I've got my my oats, my sugar, and my lemon. Right. Well, you're you're better prepared than me because I've got it all laid out in front of me. So I'm going to have to make it up as I say. So, right. We're going to need three teaspoons of ground oats. Got that? Going in the so bowl. Look, yeah. Look, that's going look. in. I don't, how, ground, how grounded are your oats? <laughs> well, I don't know, like medium, medium grounded. I don't know. <laughs> my oats are quite big. Right. Why can't so, I say there's mine? Then, then you've got, got to put in a bit, a bit of apple cider uh, vinegar. Right. So well, let me actually... open my strong <laughs> bag. <laughs> if this is a smell like a... It's How a quarter much? of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> Open that full can. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Right. Right. Okay. Hang on. Mine's mine's oh. not vinegar, so I need to put a bit of this in. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So there you go. That's that's gone in. I think I think right. I need to make mine a bit more. So there you go. Because my oats are a bit um a bit big. I've heard so, that about you. But... <laughs> <laughs> then you need some lemon juice, a quarter of a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, mine's okay. actually quite runny. So in goes, yeah, mine's a little bit runny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mine's like. <laughs> so these are DIY. I think I need some more oats. I think I need some do... more oats. <laughs> no one is going to want to do this at home. These are DIY beauty treatments that you can do at home. 
to help banish to help. the Boris flu. This is not going to banish anything. <laughs> you will just, come out. Just, just you wait. But I mean, it's all, I just think it's, I'm a bit worried where it's going to go. So right. hang on, right. So, what do we, right. This yeah. is going to change your life. And then well, sugar, do we need sugar? Right, so yeah, quarter, um, quarter tablespoon of lemon juice. Have you put the lemon juice in? Yeah, lemon juice is in. And it's then in. Um, half a tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay. Right. Now I've only got a teaspoon, but you know, so yeah. So the brown sugar. Okay. Oh, it looks now, nice. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend eating it. But it does say that you have to leave it there to um oh well we can come back to this so the oats to just sort of soak in the liquid for a few minutes well we can let's leave that to soak in there and then we'll we'll find out what on earth laura has made us make don't eat yeah. this if you're following along so i want to know have you got dressed up at home have you taken a self a picture i want you to take a picture yeah. of yourselves glammed up you mind me like that <laughs> and um send it guess? to us to enter the competition that we set oh, yeah. on Tuesday. Let's, let's get the, the uh, belt again, again, again. You can belt. win this fabulous silent pool gin hamper. Glasses, candles, a full bottle of gin. All you need to do is watch Tuesday's episode on the Birds with Baggage Instagram page. The there is a question at the end. If you answer that question correctly, we'll pick someone at random next Tuesday. Yes, you yes, yes. Win. This, this, that'll get, that'll banish the Boris Blues better than this, Will, I tell you. Well, okay, I think, I think now we should be about ready. Have with, we done everything? Uh, with a, oh, I think we have, we have done everything, haven't we? Oh, it goes so quick. Oh, I know. Well, look, we'll be back on Tuesday, won't we? We've got, to, we've, we've not finished, we've just, we haven't finished up with this yet. Uh, no. We will be back on Tuesday at eight o'clock. We are going to be posting this um, on uh, IGTV, this episode again, and obviously the Office Trolley Challenge. We're we'll back on yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday with, uh, with a Tuesday. brand new prize. Brand new prize. And so, yeah, right. we, I know you said it, but we're announcing the winner of yeah. uh, this week's prize. So now what we've got to do... Yes? Is put this on our face. Because this, this is called... What? A clarifying oat face mask. I've got Strongbow and Sarsen's vinegar in here. Come on. Put it on your face and get ready to say goodbye. Why is yours so... Come on. Come on. Am I doing it on my own? This is, this is going to be great. And you've got to leave it on for 10 oh. minutes. Oh, it's the ten. smell of vinegar. The smell of vinegar is making me feel sick. <laughs> 10 minutes. Now, this is... Oh. oh, my word. It's dripping all over the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. I need and... the forehead clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyeballs are stinging. <laughs> okay. So, until next Tuesday. <laughs> Join us. I... I, st <laughs> I actually can't see a thing. It's the vinegar. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 do we need to go? <laughs> we'll see you on Tuesday. We'll see you on Tuesday. We've been birds with baggage. Bye for now. <laughs>